A spring morning in an everyday market town much like any other. And like most towns, a river runs through it, with all its familiar urban wildlife. But more recently, this little river in this seemingly ordinary little town has become an extraordinary place to watch wildlife. It was, it was, it was unbelievable. I would think it was as near to me as I am to you. I pop the heads up right close next to you. Just don't expect to see something like that, a wild creature like that in a busy town. This place has become one of the best spots to see one of Britain's most elusive and charismatic creatures. Well, I thought it was a dolphin. It was like this, leaping out of the water. An otter in the middle of town. Here it was in the middle of day, town centre, absolutely incredible. <laughs> this is not your average otter watching experience. It's bold as brass. It's a remarkable situation for what's usually such a timid animal. Across the rivers of Britain, otters are like ghosts incredibly shy of people, they're most often active when we're not, at night. But here it's the complete opposite. So why is it so fearless, boldly hunting through the middle of the day? Maybe it's because growing up in a busy town, it's got used to people. It's never had a need to fear us but more likely it's had to because of poor fishing. It's been forced to hunt both night and day to find enough food. If that's the case, it looks like a strategy that's working. But with the positives of seeing otters in our towns, there are negatives. They'll choose the easiest options when it comes to food. Riverside properties have been poached and ornamental fish plucked from their ponds. Like any angler, they're drawn to where the fishing is best. But it's little consolation for someone who loses thousands of pounds of fish. The otter story is a remarkable one for an animal once so rare. Hunted for centuries as a threat to fish stocks and then poisoned by pesticides flowing into our rivers, they disappeared from most of our waterways. But 40 years ago, the tide turned. Hunting ceased, our rivers started to get cleaner, and otter numbers rebounded spectacularly, recolonizing every county in England. And they've been moving into our towns and cities right across Britain. Though still count yourself lucky to see one. But in this place, you'd be unlucky to miss out. This supposedly shy creature, hunting in broad daylight within feet of onlookers without a care in the world, it's left many locals spellbound. I couldn't believe it, it was the first time I've ever seen them. I thought, wow. It's not just one otter performing to the crowds. This patch is home to a pair of twins a brother and sister thought to be two or three years old. And their age could be the prime catalyst for change here. Now fully grown, they're going to be thinking about having families of their own, just not with each other. <laughs> Once playmates, these siblings are showing all the signs of drifting apart. Their play fighting is becoming less playful. Adult otters are highly territorial. Females and males will furiously defend territories from any rival, even if it's your sibling. And this territory is under threat from other otters. There's competition on all sides. Another dog otter has turned up. And the town's male is suddenly having to fight for his future. <coughs> 
Territorial battles like this are the biggest killer of adult otters. the town's dog otter manages to escape unscathed. But it's a sign that the future is uncertain here for the twins. Whatever happens, for the last few months, these charming animals have illuminated the lives of so many. We are just so lucky to have like a wild creature like that in our river. A rare gift from the natural world. That is truly amazing to get that close to wild otters in a town centre. I know. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. And it's only because they are becoming more common and therefore more used to people and therefore as long as people don't disturb them and they behave respectfully, you get those sorts of views and let's hope that that spins out all over the country. And